In extreme northern and southern latitudes, the phenomenal natural light display known as an aurora has been viewed with wonder and awe throughout time. The aurora borealis are often described as ribbons, curtains, or arcs of colorful light. An aurora occurs when energy emitted from the sun reaches Earth and is drawn toward the magnetic poles. Colors are formed when particles in the solar wind collide with the gaseous particles in the Earth's atmosphere and send them into higher energy states. To imitate the colorful ribbons of light in the night sky and the energy of the solar wind, tempera paint can be poured out onto a surface and manipulated by the force of gravity into unique marbleized patterns. The addition of a landscape silhouette gives the viewer the information needed to perceive the paint pour as patterns in the sky. Include glow-in-the-dark glitter glue and the auroras will actually illuminate when the lights are out. To start, prepare a pouring station by covering a table and providing cardboard boxes or trays to catch drips. To distribute paint across a class, divide paint into smaller flip-top bottles. Cut black paper to size of the canvas panel. Start by squeezing out enough of one paint color to cover the bottom of the cup. Tap the cup gently on the table to level the paint. Using a second color, make a pool in the center and repeat to make rings of color inside one another, creating a bullseye effect. You can use as many colors as you like or keep it simple by layering only two to three colors. If you're using glow-in-the-dark glue, squeeze some in between the layers of paint. Next, place a canvas panel on top of the cup. Hold it in place with one hand and hold onto the cup with the other. In one fluid motion, flip the cup and panel so the cup is upside down. Wait for at least 30 seconds for the paint to flow out of the cup. Students can also be allowed to tap the cup in order to track the time and speed the paint flow. Then, remove the cup. If there's excess paint left in the cup, it can be dislodged with a craft stick. Then, discard the cup. At this stage, feel free to add a little more glow-in-the-dark glitter glue to the top of the paint. Holding the panel upright by the edges, over a box or tray to catch any drips, allow the paint to flow close to an edge. Then, rotate the board to send the paint in another direction. Allow the paint to run and cover the surface of the canvas panel. Some paint may drip off and some edges of the board may not be covered with paint. When the paint begins to dry, it will start to flow less freely. Gently tap the board with your fingers on the back side while keeping the drip catching surface in place to keep the paint moving as you finish covering your surface. As an option, you can gently blow through a straw on the surface of the paint to expose another color just beneath the surface. Set the panel on a covered, flat level surface and allow to dry for six to eight hours overnight. Using a pencil, draw the outline of a landscape or cityscape on black paper, keeping in mind how much of the paint pour will be covered by the silhouette. Then cut it out. Then, glue the silhouette to the paint poured surface. Protect the final artwork with a gloss fixative spray. For all the materials, a PDF, and teaching standards, visit dickblick.com slash lesson plans.